This review is on the nearest high definition digital wireless audio video sender. As you can see here, it operates in full 1080p. And what it allows you to do is send a signal from one, uh, one device that has a uh, HDMI output to your TV or other device that has an HDMI input. So this kind of detethers your, your television from your Blu-ray player or from your cable box or from even really your computer. So we're going to show you some examples of how this works and see if uh, this might be a device that has a place in your home entertainment center. This is the, uh, the transmitter, the high definition digital wireless transmitter. And I'm going to show you how easily this thing hooks up. So you, you plug it in, so you will have a wire coming out of this. You have a, a standard plug-in. You have an HDMI input. You plug in a device into it. You plug it into the wall. And then you have another device that looks identical to this that you plug into your TV. Uh, so you, you power it up, plug, you have an HDMI output that goes into your television. And just that fast, you're, you're, you're linked up for wireless. There's no computer setup. There's nothing that you have to do at all except for plugging these two in, having one side with your HDMI input, and then on the other, your HDMI output into your device. It's that easy. I can't really show because of copyright laws in the U.S. is um, when you actually do transmit the signal, uh, there is one uh, flaw, I mean, it, depending on your tolerance for it, it could either be a deal killer or it could be a, a pretty minor. In my opinion, it's pretty minor. But there's about a 5 to 10 second lag from when you have the video to the audio. So what you'll do is you'll see the, um, you'll see the video from on your television, but you won't hear sound. It'll take it a few seconds to kind of catch up. Once it does catch up, it's, um, it's completely in sync. There's no gap between the sound and the video. Um, you don't see it, lips move and then people talk. Uh, it's perfectly linked up, but it does take a few seconds for that to occur. So um, um, when, if you're using it for your cable box, it can be a slight uh, um, kind of a issue. However, if you have a DVR or something, you could pause it and then wait five seconds and it catches back up. The other thing, if you're using it for a Blu-ray player, um, doesn't matter. You know, by the time you actually start your movie or your video, um, you will have it already, um, um, the, the, the sound will have synced. So for a DVD or Blu-ray player, non-issue. For your cable box, it could be, but really it's not that big of a deal, um, especially for the, the advantage of not having to have other equipment. Other things that you could do is you don't necessarily have to run your uh, video and audio through your HDMI. If you have your cable box set up to a, um, your home entertainment center with your speakers, you can have that go out through an optical output, and again, you're going to be synced back up perfectly. So, just one thing to consider. Things that really I like about this device is a lot of the flexibility that it does give you. For example, one thing, um, this only has one HDMI input. However, you can set it to a uh, HDMI splitter, and you can run several devices off of this. So you can put your television above your fireplace with only this plugged into it, but still have your your, your, possibly your computer, your, um, your Blu-ray player, your cable box, um, your, um, uh, your PlayStation, anything that has an HDMI output can be connected to your television, even if it's above a fireplace or someplace that's completely unreachable. So it's a, it's a great all-in-one solution. The other thing I like about it is if you go through Amazon, this is not included, you can buy a cable like this, which is a, for this particular one, it's for my MacBook Pro. It's a... Uh, monitor output to an HDMI. So what this allows me to do is anything that's on my MacBook Pro, I can put on my television now. Just by simply plugging it into my computer and then plugging in the cable into the transmitter and then transmitting it to my television. So it's a, it's a great solution for that. So things like Hulu, um, if you have a Slingbox or Sling Player, uh, Volcano, um, um, YouTube, anything that you want to watch, uh, if you want to go to NBC or ABC.com and watch videos on that, all that can be put onto your television, and if you want, you wouldn't even have to pay for cable. So, lots of, lots of flexibility with this little device. Okay, here's a quick demonstration of how the nearest HDMI transmitter works. Um, here I've got hooked up to my, my, actually my MacBook Pro. So, it's hooked up here, and then if you look behind my television, I have it right there, plugged right directly into my HDMI. 
So again, it's being sent from that transmitter to that transmitter. Now another option I could have would be if I wanted to put my television where that wreath is at, I would put the transmitter up here and then I wouldn't need any other additional wires. I could hang my TV where the wreath is at and put the HDMI transmitter by Nereus here on the, um, on the mantle and I'd be good to go. Uh, unfortunately, my wife would rather have a wreath there than the TV at this point, so that is why the TV is on the pedestal. Okay, I talked about the difference between the delay between the audio and the video, and part of that seems to have uh, some dependence on how much information is being transferred. High definition, real high definition programs seem to have a bit of a, more of a delay. But using my TiVo, this will give you an example on, on one particular broadcast. So again, there's the video portion of it. You don't hear the audio yet. You don't hear the audio. Still don't hear the audio. There it is. So, um, and again, that's not for everything, but that is for uh, um, things that seem to be broadcast in 1080p, and, and um, whereas other things in 720 and below, the audio and video seem to be synced up a little quicker. Okay, showing you out of the box here, this is how the, the system is designed. You can put your DVR, your cable box, your Blu-ray player in one side of the room and send it to your television that's on the other side of the room. What makes it nice is you have additional flexibility to add an HDMI splitter. So you have a, a one device that does all. Um, you also have the ability to run it into your computer and uh, have a, the ability to use Hulu and NBC and ABC um, web pages to send that video directly to your television as well. So if you want, you can actually get rid of your cable box or your cable bill, really, uh, which is even better. Um, Installation is very fast. It can be done by uh, the, uh, the biggest of uh, technology novices. Uh, if you can hook up a VCR, you can do this with no sweat. Uh, it's really that easy. Um, there is a, a bit of a drawback in terms of the audio um, delay before after the picture comes on of 5 to 10 seconds. I'm going to take about a half star off for that. Uh, again, I, I don't think it's that big of an issue for me, but I can see how it could be uh, inconvenient for others. So with that, I'm going to give the... Uh, High definition digital wireless audio center by Nereus, four and a half stars. I, I think it has great performance. Um, uh, when used on my computer, there's a little bit of pixelation, but I, was, uh, I, I think that might be more of an issue with my computer than with the actual system itself. Um, didn't have any interference with my cell phones or my my um, home phone or uh, my baby monitor or anything like that. So it seems like the the frequency used didn't um, didn't uh, cause any issues. So it really is a kind of a unique and a, a great way to add a little flexibility to your system and, and the ability to detether your television from the rest of your entertainment devices. So four and a half stars.